Uh, hi, my name is Jeff. This is Duncan. And this is Bella. And we're from Springfield, Massachusetts. And we watch Trucker Josh Vlogs. Good Monday morning from Winkler. We have a special guest today. Hey there. Father-in-law. No. It's his first trip on his own. This is it. Yeah. This is how it all begins. His truck is just around the corner over there. And uh, we're running together into Saskatchewan now. Uh, show him the ropes a little bit. Get you familiar with the e-log and stuff. Teaching your old dog new tricks. Yeah. He's pretty old school, so the e-logs are a little different for him. No one likes the e-logs. So he just got me all loaded up here. He's just around the corner right there. We loaded him up first. Both these loads are going to Langbank, Saskatchewan. The same place we delivered uh, those tires to, actually. Same company. So I know exactly where we're going. Oh, excellent. Yes, yeah, so there's nothing there. So nothing if, we, if, we, if we sleep there, there's nothing there. But we gotta figure out where we're gonna stop tonight yet, because I don't think we'll get unloaded today. Uh, it took all morning to get loaded, and it'll be about a five, six hour drive to get there. So it'll probably be first thing tomorrow morning. So it's kind of interesting. <laughs> training my father-in-law. He doesn't need any training. He knows what he's doing. It's just the new technologies he's not familiar with. So it's just easier if they send him on a short one, like behind me, or run convoy for a, for a day. That way, if any questions come up about the e-log or anything at all, then I am right there. I can help them with it right away. We might go on another one down just across the border just to uh, get them familiar with border crossings. But we'll see what they get for us next. For now, we're delivering this load tomorrow morning. Langbank, Saskatchewan. It's going to be fun. They didn't exactly go easy on him on the first, first day. <laughs> He's been training for two weeks now, just getting familiar with all the new technologies and stuff. And so this is his first trip out. And uh, <laughs> I, I, I called it, I was like, can you just give us something simple just so that we can, you know, get the ball rolling? <laughs> this load, we both used like 20, 25 straps. Bunch of little stuff, bunch of big stuff, all kinds of mixed up stuff. Wasn't exactly the easiest, but at least we didn't have to tarp. We don't have to tarp these, so I'm not complaining, I'm not complaining. Could have been a lot worse. Yeah, so that's my wife's dad, obviously. If that's my father, that's my wife's dad. He used to be a truck driver when my wife was a kid. And when she was a little girl, uh, he would do runs out to Vancouver, BC and back. And that's sort of a big reason why me and Britt worked out, I think. She was very familiar with the trucker lifestyle. She knew what it was all about. And she grew up in a home where her dad was a trucker. And uh, he actually worked at GM for quite a few years since since I've known him and I think way longer than that but he's since retired from that he was a, a technician I believe worked in the the maintenance department he retired from that and uh, came back to trucking now we're all here and we're one big happy family so my dad is down in the US right now what would be cool is if me him and my dad could run out on a trip on a trip somewhere or meet up on the road somewhere run together for a little while that would be cool It'll probably happen one day. It probably will. There she is. All set and ready. I'm just waiting for paperwork still. I'm going to take a look at my father-in-law. If you didn't know, his name is Jerry. There's his load. How you liking the Western Star? Yeah, it's not a bad truck. No. They ride a little rough, but it wasn't that bad. Wasn't that? Oh, good. You got a good one then. Okay. 
We got Paul and Law behind me. We both got our paperwork here finally. It's a quarter to two and we're finally rolling out of here. Took all day to get these uh, loads put together and get our paperwork. CB works anyways. Let's see if he's okay, ready to go. What did he say? I don't know what he said. I don't think he's ready to go. He told me he was ready to go before already, so. We're just going up to the co-op. Uh, from Winkler, you turn west. And there's a co-op truck stop. It's about 15 minutes away from here. We're gonna go in there and check our straps there. First Street, Highway 32. I'm just gonna park up here and wait for him. Really hot day. Ah, sweat like crazy out there. Oh yeah, there, now he's coming. Saw his lights turn on anyway. There he comes. Trip number one. Underway. I was actually using that truck when I was doing city work for a little while. So dusty out here. This load is not very heavy at all. Nice light load to bring us there. are pretty intense. <laughs> A lot of straps. So we'll stop here, check them here, and we'll probably go up to Portage or something, check them there yet.
coming up to Whitewood, Saskatchewan, which is oh, about 15 minutes north of Langbank. This is where we're going to spend the night. This way there's a truck stop right here. It's just around the corner. And a nice lit area to park and grab some food and coffee in the morning. Maybe grab a bite to eat tonight yet. And we'll go deliver. They open up at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, uh, which will work with our hours of service if we want it to. But they also said they'd, uh, sort of sounded like they only wanted us there like after 8 a.m. But now well, we might show up at seven anyways, and if they can get to us, they can. If not, then no. From here we head back home anyways, and then uh, I believe I have a load booked out of Kenora. Would you prefer the co-op or the Petro Pass? Oh, I can go to the Petro Pass. Potholes are gonna swallow me whole. Yikes. Alright. So I'm gonna pull in right beside this trailer here. And then he'll probably pull in right beside me on that side, I'm guessing. Yeah, I chose the Petro Pass because they have a restaurant here uh, and it's 24 hours as well. Whereas the co-op closes for night, I'm pretty sure. short day but it was fun all right completely set up in the truck now the new laptop we'll see how how it does it's a lot lighter and a little quite a bit slimmer than my old one I haven't even rendered a video on it yet the last couple of videos I <laughs> convinced my old computer to finally render it took all day to get two videos done uh, hence the new computer. Uh, this one I'm guessing will take 20 minutes. <laughs> I guess we'll see. I just got to get rid of this basic generic background. I want to find that uh, favorite picture of mine that I had of me and Britt on our land in the winter time. I had it as the background of my my other computer. I want it as the background here again too. So I'll find it eventually. I'll find it. But, yeah. I'm excited. I got a new toy. And look, it changes colors. Did you see it? Isn't that cool, eh? So thanks for watching today, everybody. We'll see you right here again tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that like button. Find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all the links to all my social media. Anywhere you can find me on the internet, the link is down below my video. Uh, there's a whole bunch you can go through there if, if you have the time, if you want to. That'd be great. I challenge you to tell one friend about Trucker Josh today or tomorrow within the next 24 hours. And it is your mission to get them to subscribe. I'm making you work. <laughs> okay? All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Have your friend with you. Eh? man I'm a little bit blown away here Whew. so I just edited the video of when I went to go pick up this computer right and how long was it about 20 some minutes or so uh, let's see here 24 minutes and this would usually take on my old computer uh, about 35 40 minutes 
to render. This computer, I just, just clicked it. It's gonna take under 10 minutes. Wow. It's, look at this, it's already over there. Oh yeah, this computer's way faster already. If this is how it's, uh, how fast it's gonna render. Good, I'm happy with that. Good. Right on, some good news, finally. <laughs> ah, there's a lot of good news in life. Sometimes the bad news overwhelms the good news, but there's usually more good news than bad news. It's just the bad news, it seems to dominate everything, you know? Seems to dominate our minds, but if you think about it, there is always usually more good news than bad. This computer's fast. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> nice.